Hey guys, welcome back to Zelda Gun Gaming, episode 14. In this episode, we'll be continuing the work on the courtyards which we've been working on in this series on Minecraft Survival mode. And we'll be finishing up this courtyard area, which you see below. We started digging that out in the last episode, and we will be finishing digging it out, and we'll start work on the wall. Let's get going. Okay, one day I'll be able to not get hurt doing this. Not today. Also, I'll build a staircase up there. Okay, let's clear this area out. Do -do -do. Now, one thing you must realize is I'm doing this in a kind of in a single player type of way. If you're playing multiplayer, things might be different. Not terribly different, but they might be different, as in you might want to be carrying your sword more when you're just walking around. You'd, you'd want to be more aware, something which I've not necessarily been so big on in this in this particular series because it's not multiplayer but i have been building my castle my house up to the specs that i would expect in a multiplayer game even if i'm not building even if i'm not acting quite in the way i would in a multiplayer game if you guys would like to see me playing minecraft survival mode uh, with friends in a multiplayer way then maybe i do a few videos maybe i could even do a series if you guys really wanted to if you guys would watch that i would i could do a series with some friends and i could show you how to play survival mode in multiplayer so comment below tell us if you'd like to see that or if you'd like to see me playing with my friends in survival mode or tell me if you'd like to see me do a walkthrough of one of my other survival worlds, which I did play multiplayer on, and I built this really huge castle. Like, it's stunning. I, I built a garden on top of it, grew trees in it, and then surrounded it in glass. Yeah, it was crazy. Okay, now we're going to do some work on this wall. Okay. Go ahead and take this out. And this will save us the effort on our next basement of building this wall. Win, win, win. Why put off to tomorrow what you can do today? Of course, that's, that's terribly inapplicable to me because I am a procrastinator, so, yeah, I probably shouldn't be saying anything, but, okay. Oh dear, this isn't good. I am now full of cobblestone. Okay, I'm just, I'm filling that up so my OCD doesn't kill me, but also leaving a bit of a gap so that I can get through. I can hear my never portal from here. Okay, we're going to stand back and admire this when we're done. It's going to look so good. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. This thing is huge. Oh, ha. I love this. Okay, let's start working on those walls. I just realized... Nope, nope, we're good, we're good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up like this and then actually... Uh, hmm. I'm not sure, like, this this will make it more secure. Yeah, that'll definitely make it more secure. Okay, so what I want to do now is build a... Build a wall going around here. And first of all, I'm going to build up to ground level. Actually, first of all, I'll just build it up to here. Wow, look at all this dirt I have. That's sad. First of all, I'm just going to build up to here, and then I can come back later and fill it up to above the ground height so that mobs won't come and decide to visit me. Because you don't want mobs coming to visit you. Believe me. It's not fun. So this will fill it up on most of the sides high enough. On a few of the sides, we'll have to go and... We'll have to go back... 
Okay, let's see if we can do this one again. Wow, if only I could do this in real life. <laughs> on some of the sides, like over there, I'm going to have to go fill up a bit higher. Okay. It'd probably be a bad idea to go down there. I still have that bad omen enchantment. It's a little annoying. I mean, considering I don't even know what it does, it's very annoying. If I knew what it did, maybe I'd... It would be better. I mean, bad omen sounds really bad, but I have no idea what it does, so... Okay, does that look straight? Yeah, I think it is. Yep, I think it's straight. If it's not straight, then I am the only one to blame. Right now I'm on creep mode so I don't fall off, and then I just go up to the edge and build up and then just keep going. There, sweet. Oh yeah, that looks so good. Okay, so right now, what I'm, one thing I'm going to do right now is cut down this tree because I don't want a mob spawning in the tree and then jumping down into my courtyard. For that matter, I don't want anything spawning in my courtyard. I only have four torches. I need to put some more torches in. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is this entire wall, I'm going to take up another three. Because it's close to the ground level. Now the floor, I will probably also turn into cobblestone, but not today. I feel like that would be a waste of time today. Okay, I think I'll do this two here, and then we'll go two, and then we'll go one. Yay! Just make sure I can't, no one can jump up there. Okay, and then one last thing will be that over here, we can also start thinking about a gate now. This is still too close to the ground right here. There we go. Uh, I bet I could jump in there. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> okay, I, I am really terrible at parkour. Oh, hey, I made it. Surprising. Okay, everything looks good. We even got a sheep over there. Nice. Down we go. Okay, this is looking sweet. I'm gonna fill this in with some cobblestone, and there we go. Wow, that looks so nice. Okay, so I'm gonna grab some steps and turn this into a proper staircase that real humans can walk on. Actually, I'm not even a real human, this is a video game, but who cares. Okay, I forget how to make steps. Here they are. Okay, that should be enough. I really should make steps all the way down into my mine. Ah! Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, we'll just dump these in here. Okay, this dirt is annoying. What I'm gonna have to do is... Oh, I got this wood, that's nice. What I'm gonna have to do is dump this dirt. And now we have an easy way to do that. Get up here, move to the edge, and dump it out. Bye-bye, dirt. Yeah, dirt can really clog you up. There is little use for dirt. I'm going to keep that 15. <laughs> there is little use for dirt besides being a filler. Literally. Wow, this place looks pretty nice. Look at that. Look at that view. I've heard that there's slime in the 
in the swamplands, but I haven't seen any. Now, we better not stay out too long. We know about the potentiality of this place to have uh, phantoms, as we have had some sticky experiences with, with phantoms previously in this course. I believe that was episode 6, maybe. All right, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to utilize some of this nice wood we cut and make a bunch of torches. Actually, we already have some sticks. But who doesn't need more? Mwahahaha. <laughs> oh, actually, I just noticed we could make ourselves a suit of iron armor. We might do that. However, now my place is so well armored, um, so well walled, I don't really need that as bad because the there's less chance that I'll be fighting a fighting a mob unawares. Because if I got myself into a position by which I could fight the mob easily, I might keep that. If I got myself into a position by which I could fight the mob, or if I if I could see the mob coming. And I could prepare myself. Armor would be more for a situation where I wasn't prepared, and therefore it would give me more time to react to the mob. Speaking of mobs, I can see a skeleton. I think I might go fight him. But what we're going to do now is I'm going to quickly throw up some torches, and this will keep our place from spawning mobs. Try to place them at uh, um, even intervals. This place is starting to look pretty good. Like home. I love you, castle home, survival home. And one thing which is really nice about building a home in survival is that you know you build it with your own two hands. You didn't do it, you didn't use creative or something like that. You built it with your own two hands. Or Minecraft hands. In which case it's probably one hand because in Minecraft you only have one hand. But that's okay. <laughs> okay, let's hope that lights up this area well enough. Okay, so I am going to... Wait, does this thing have... Oh, it's projectile protection. That that is helpful though, against mobs and other such. I'm gonna grab my fishing rod and we're gonna go fishing, and I'm going to grab my sword and my shield and we're gonna go fight that guy. Now, right now, what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build a bridge right here so I can move over here. And as we saw previously, I can jump across here, but it's a little tricky. So I wouldn't expect a mob to do that. Okay, let's fight. Whoa! What was with him? He was in bad shape. What may have happened is he may have been out in the sun, and that weakened him because those guys react badly to the sun. They they start to die, they start to burn in the sun, so they he may have died due to a due to sunshine. Due to vitamin C. Is that right? Is that the right vitamin? Something like that. Okay, so I am here to do some fishing. That water is really clear. This will provide me with a quick, easy, and reliable source of food. Oops, missed that time. Even though fishing could is a is a an effective form of and and reliable form of collecting food, it does require some patience. So it may not be for the people who prefer to go out and fight cows, even though cows can't fight back. But it definitely is a very reliable stream of food. I in, in some of my survival worlds, I've even built pools from which to fish in my very own house. 
And that way I've I've never gone hungry because I've always known where to get food if I need it. This stuff's going to do us really well. Okay, card. Sometimes you get surprise goodies, but not too often. I keep hearing it. I think yeah, I'm hearing it, but I think it's the fish. It's a pig. Ooh, ooh. It's an enchantment book, Punch 2. That will allow us to enchant a bow, which, and it will allow us to it'll punch our victims, which is very, very helpful. Especially in a... I think that it's making that sound when the fish hit it. Especially in a multiplayer situation. It's kind of sad I'm not playing this one multiplayer. But in a multiplayer game, if you were to enchant your bow with that, that would be... That's really helpful. Because it knocks the other person back. Which could be used for knocking them off a ledge, knocking them away when they're attacking. It's kind of similar to knock back in a sword, but with a bow. And I've had some pretty nice bows before. One of my favorite bows of all time was, it was Unbreaking, I think. And it had Punch, I think. And it also had... It also had... Ooh, we don't puff fish. And it also had a flame. That's right, it had flame. No, 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 it wasn't unbreaking. It was in, it was infinity, which means it never used arrows, which was, I gotta say, incredibly helpful. Oh, wow, wow. Uh, aqua, affinity, flame, efficiency? I don't even know what that would enchant. A s sword? No. No, maybe a... Bow? Anyway, that... I can't wait to try that out. We'll get a crafting table later and try these things out. Yeah, but I gotta say that that, pa that bow was really great. Punch, and flame, and infini infinity. It was, it was the best bow I've ever had. Oh well. And I think I got another one which didn't have the punch, but it had unbreaking or something like that. It was pretty nice as well. <laughs> we just got another fishing rod. Well, hey, that'll be great when this one runs out, but it takes a while for fishing rods to run out. My favorite fishing rod of all time was a fishing rod I fished out of the river, and it had, in a different world, and it had a, it had... Uh, it wasn't unbreaking, it was actually regeneration. Oh, wow! Wow, look at this, this one has unbreaking! Look at that! And it has luck of the sea! Wow, I think that means you get better stuff. Wow, this is great. Yeah, but that fishing rod was so good because it never ran out. Ever. Wow, I can't wait to see what this thing brings up. This might bring up such good stuff that I'll need a, uh, that it will, basically, it'll pay for itself easy. But what I'm going to do is it, oh, wow, wow, this is amazing. Oh, wow, it has Mending 1, Power 4, and Unbreaking 3. I think that means it mends itself. That is, that's crazy. The problem is with bows, though, is you have to have arrows, and bows are somewhat hard to get. Not terribly hard to get, but somewhat hard to get. Anyway, I'm going to get inside, because I want to build an anvil to repair this this bow. This I'm, this I'm going to build a gate at some point soon. So I'm going to build an anvil, which will be quite useful at this point. Anvils usually aren't that worth that much, because it you, it basically costs the same as the actual thing to repair it. But if it's enchanted, it will repair that enchanted thing, which is, I gotta say, very, very useful. Now I need my iron for this. Now, anvils are not easy to get. See, it requires three iron blocks. Those are Those aren't fun. Oh, wow. Wow, this is not good. One, two, three. Oh, wow. This is going to require almost... All. This is the problem with with uh, anvils, is they require so much... Re so many so many resources. However... I'll just get here. 
it will be helpful. So what I can do is I can take this fishing rod and this, this fishing rod. It costs two experience, and I can combine them together. I can name them. I'm not going to need to name it, though. Well, I could name it something fun, like, um, um, uh, Lucky Rod. Yeah. Oh, wait. It costs more to rename it. Oh, great. No, I'm not going to do that. I don't want to pay to rename it. I mean, renaming swords and stuff is fun. Because you can name it like after a famous sword or something. But it, for a fishing rod, it's not that big of a deal. Anyway, so I just took the two fishing rods I fished and bonded them together. Which made this one a lot stronger. So now I can use this one for a lot longer. And it has unbreaking, which means it will last for a very, very long time. And now, what we're going to do is I'm going to throw this fish in the oven. And we're going to go to bed. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching episode 14. Please join us again next time for more exciting stuff. We can uh, maybe check out some of that stuff which we just uh, just mine, just <laughs> mined, fished out of the river, like that new fishing rod. See what that pulls up. There's some exciting stuff in that river. And we also, in this episode, we built the courtyard over here. We finished the courtyard, and it looks great, if I do say so myself. And I think we just, that was a really, really good, good, uh, uh, good, it's not lecture, it's an episode. So I was thinking lecture, I was like, lectures in the course? But, no, this was a really good episode in this, in this course on surviving survival mode. And we got some really nice stuff out of the river, which is, it, it was some amazing stuff. So I just want to say like this video i really hope you enjoyed it as much as i did i love this 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 video this was amazing doing doing this it was that was one of the best fishing trips i've ever had in real life or in minecraft so i want to thank you guys so much for watching please subscribe to get more videos coming right to you please like this video and please may you comment tell us what you want us to do next or tell us what we are doing wrong maybe <laughs> and please may you uh yeah and tell your friends about it. share it maybe share it on facebook twitter share us and tell people about it thank you so much for watching this episode